What's up guys, so today I head off to begin a two week trip to Italy. I'm super excited but I'm also completely knackered because I had to wake up a lot earlier than normal to make sure I catch the flight but it's going to be mad anyway. I'll definitely be doing a few explores over there, I've got quite a few planned already so it should be good. Anyway, I am off to catch a flight in a couple of hours so I'll see you there guys, let's go. Okay, so the wheel has fallen from my case somewhere. I've no idea where it is, but I think it's fair to say that's not a great start. So, I've just arrived at my Airbnb and it does look pretty nice. And it has a pretty decent view as well. Anyway, I'm going to go straight to sleep because I'm still not good from earlier, but I'll pick this vlog up at some point tomorrow. So, I'll see you in a bit guys. I spent the first day in Italy sightseeing, but on the second day I felt like doing an explore. So after a bit of planning, I found a pretty interesting place. So guys, I've actually found this place not far from where I'm staying right now. Although it does look fairly vandalised and decayed, it that could actually help make it a fairly interesting explore. The place has a fair bit of history behind it, including once being the home of Napoleon. It's also the site of one of the earliest forms of electroshock therapy, so I'm gonna head there now. We just need to hope that we get in. I'll see you there guys, let's go. Unfortunately, the rain pelted down, and I couldn't risk damaging my camera in the rain, so I really couldn't film much of the journey. But, it wasn't long before I located and gained access to this huge site. Guys, it's pouring down. This is absolutely horrible weather. You can't even hear anyone or anything. Every noise in here just merges in. So this is the first building. It's completely shelled out, but there is an upstairs which looks pretty nice. This weather is horrible. You can see the size of this place so it goes right back again. Hopefully it's not all emptied out though, like this building. I just found some old tape here on the floor, and it kind of looks like some sort of scan. But I don't know. There's another one there. Got a complete version. I don't know what this is here. It's kind of like they were growing something. Unless it was like a research lab, but it looks to be like plants were growing here. I have no idea what this room would have been. There's hardly anything left behind, so it's so hard to tell. Wow. That is amazing. Look at the state of that building too. There's no way there's going to be anything left behind in that. Just another decaying shell of what would have once been a massive hospital. More empty rooms up here. This place is completely shelled out. Looking at these stairs, I'm not actually sure it's a good idea to go all the way up. It's always hard to tell how strong these are, but... I might try the next floor. If there's nothing on that, then I'm just gonna go back down. Nothing. I know I've come so far, and on another day, in another place, I'd climb stairs just like that, but I'm pretty certain that this goes away is the reward.
no idea what that is. But yet again, the place is knackered. Look at that, the old light on the wall. Even that's gone. See his noises like that. You can't tell what's being caused by the weather and what's not being caused by the weather. So I just heard a person speaking around there. I'm 100% sure it was a person. Earlier on I heard what I thought was people, but it ended up being pigeons, but this time there was definitely a voice found there. I really don't like the sound of that. I have no idea where this goes. But it looks pretty cool. Oh wow. This place has a tunnel going all the way underneath it. But I'm gonna give that a miss for now. That's weird. Look at the old picnic benches where people could sit and have a snack. But there's even an old bin on that tree. It's a shame how it's all gone to waste. This place definitely seems to have less vandalism. And that's normally a good sign. But we have got a way in, so let's go and find out for ourselves. Oh well. And I'll lift them. So I've just found this on the wall. And I don't think that's graffiti. I think this was here when the hospital was open. I've got a feeling this was like a kid's ward. This in here would have once been a bed, but completely destroyed by vandals. It is a shame. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea why this place had its own football pitch. This really is a weird explore. Anyway, let's go back to the hospital because there's not really much we can do up here. The place is actually flooding. That's how much rain there is at the moment. And we did see some people earlier. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely other people on the site, but we might as well keep exploring. So I found this building here and it's just been completely taken over by nature. Absolutely nothing left, but there's plants going. All the way down. So photogenic. So this here would have once been the main entrance, or one of the entrances. And there's the reception sort of area. Oh well. I'm pretty certain that's like an old hospital bed or table. I thought we found the morgue for a minute. <laughs> I was getting excited. Probably the most untouched room we've found so far in this building. I love the long corridor, so. I'm guessing this would have been an old ward. It's hard to tell what they are, though. I'm guessing the beds would have been here, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's go Hospital beds. It's completely flooding. It's turning it into a real nightmare. 
So guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up today. I was gonna go to the top of the water tower, but it's just way too big. Like, I'm wondering if I'm gonna get splashed. And there's people walking around the side, as in, I'm fit sitting there angles because they don't have cameras or anything, so. I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching guys. Next video will be better, 100%. Stay tuned anyway. I'll see you next week.